to do research is to be involved in the creation of new knowledge. Ashoka's PhD program helps you to do this, first by understanding what went before and the gaps in our knowledge that need to be filled. We combine teaching and research together because we understand that the best researchers are also good teachers. We work across departments because we understand that interdisciplinary research is the research of the future. The PhD students at Ashoka University uh, kind of uh, get a unique experience in the sense that uh, they do research in a very multidisciplinary environment uh, and they are mentored by uh, faculty who have international and national accolades as well as research grants. And the students uh, get to use uh, and access facilities that are world class on cutting edge topics. They are trained in a way so that they can end up being uh, researchers, trainers, and teachers uh, in a, a very all-rounded manner. We have a number of collaborations with universities across the world. Uh, for instance, we have a student, PhD student exchange program with the University of Lund in, in Sweden. We have we are part of a, a scholarly exchange program with um, the University of Cambridge in the UK. There are a number of US universities uh, that we have various kinds of collaborations with. I'm currently part of a very exciting new collaboration with the University of Toronto, where we are going to jointly house uh, the oldest journal in my field, which is the history of science, and graduate students students will be um, very much part of that um, and learning from that globally shared experience which itself is kind of exciting and experimental. I would also love to highlight uh, the work that's being done by the Ashoka Archives. We've acquired a large um, tranche of documents uh, including say the private papers of ex-president uh, Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan but the archives continues to grow and diversify its contents and again it's something that will give students uh, who are historically inclined not only something to work on but an experience in a, a new area of how document preservation is done today, what goes into preserving, collecting historically important manuscripts, documents, books, photographs, etc. So all of that I think would make Ashoka a great place to come to for your PhD. Research and teaching go hand in hand at Ashoka University. During my time here, both as a student and a research assistant, I greatly benefited from research integrated teaching. Training at Ashoka encourages critical thinking and emphasizes on real-life applications of theoretical concepts. We have the freedom to design and execute our own research projects with the opportunity to mentor undergraduate students. For the subject I study, experimental economics, I need a special lab to run the experiments, which initially was unavailable. However, for my pilot study, the faculty and PhD in the computer science department let me use their resources, which was really helpful. By the time I was ready to run my main project, thanks to the research and development office and the IT team, the lab was fully set up. graduate student in the Department of Physics. My research involves modeling complex systems, which are systems with many interacting components, like a city in which an epidemic is spreading. I simulate large populations of individuals and try to answer questions like, what reduces the spread of a disease more? Is it the amount of testing or the quality of the test used? Such simulations are computationally intensive, and luckily Ashoka has the infrastructure to run them with an excellent high-performance computing cluster. This is a good example of Ashoka's research infrastructure, which is quite advanced and allows its students to do great research in both the natural and the physical sciences. Uh, additionally, Ashoka also allows people to pursue other interests as well. I enjoy amateur astronomy as well as undergraduate teaching, and I have been helping set up the astronomy labs and designing experiments in which undergraduates go out at night and take data um, with, their, with telescopes and actually measure, say, the temperatures of distant stars or the rotation of the galaxy uh, or identify the different elements that are present in stars.